You host, you greet, and then at some point around midnight, you're gonna have the drag show. Then it's showtime. How y'all doing out there? It's my birthday! I always treat it like, I'm the queen here, it's my night, this is my domain, this is my queendom. My drag daughters are gonna hit this stage tonight and give you a fantastic show, because honey, here in LA, we give you good drag, and especially in my fucking family, we give you the best. Are y'all ready? <laughs> if it hurts, it's working. That is my balls up here, and then my dick is back here at my butt. Cheyenne Pepper! You know, this is gonna be your first, like, paid gig. I hope you don't get too nervous. All right. Knock, knock. Hi, mama. <laughs> this is so small. I'm a small, dainty woman. I know, but how do you fit so many need... small, dainty women here at the same time? I don't need big, grand things. <laughs> well, at least not to get dressed in. <laughs> this one, the biggest difference is that the eyes are more closed off. As long as it's not too high. Okay. They are. It's just kind of more where it naturally would be, but you can make it thick and really okay. illustrate it. You're going to go up there. First of all, it's going to be uncomfortable. You have a catwalk. Feel free to do whatever you want up there. Know your words. Look good, have a drink, and just <laughs> say a little prayer and keep going and see how it goes. On a busy week, how often would you work? I normally work every night. Every night? No matter what. On Saturdays, I will pull a double because I have a brunch show here at Abbey. After that's done, fight traffic back to Riverside, do my show there that night. It's nonstop. For me, a typical night, it starts during the day. As soon as I get up, I have to pull music, find out what, I, what I'm feeling that day. Then I go to my storage, pull costumes, looks, then get on the road. Once I get there, that's where I, I prepare, get ready, do my makeup. And once I feel the energy of the evening and how the girls are backstage, who else is in the show, like I, that's how I gauge like where I should take the performance for the evening. Yeah. The main thing why you're doing this, especially if you want to be an entertainer, mm -hmm. is to make sure that the audience is having a good time with you. And sometimes people want to do drag for the wrong reasons, especially with it now being mainstream, everyone wants to get famous from it. That doesn't come with drag for a lot of people and you get dis disheartened when it doesn't happen for you. So it's yeah. like, you know, what are you going into drag for? Do you have something to say? Are you a true artist? You have to be there for the right reasons. You have to have something to say. You know, it's not always about the aesthetic. There has to be a passion underneath it. Mm. I went into Drag Race thinking, okay, well, I'm a known queen. Mm -hmm. This might work in my favor, mm -hmm. but it was weird because it really didn't. When I was there, I wanted to stay true to myself and I wanted to keep to myself, which bit me in the ass. Well, I feel like people are seeing more of the real mayhem even afterwards that's not even based on the show. They're seeing your actual performances being turned into memes. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's the good thing. About and that's you performing at Mickey's how many years ago? That was like almost nine years ago. Nine years ago. And that's just you being talented. Just me blinking. Yeah. <laughs> how do you control an audience by just blinking? How long have you been doing drag for? Officially, it'll be 17 years this year. So Mayhem Miller, the drag queen, is almost legal. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Yes. So how long does it take, say, um, like a local drag queen to sort of rise up to get to a point where they can host a night? <laughs> it's like um, horror story when what did they call her? Supreme. The um, the Supreme. The Supreme. Yes. You have to wait for the the Supreme to just lose her powers and stuff. And then it's surprise, bitch. Then some little new bitch comes out of nowhere and she's like, hi, give me that microphone real quick. <laughs> I was very fortunate. I just met the right person. And they gave me an opportunity and said, hey, do you want your own night? And that was at Rage. People will come see the show and be like, oh my God, Mayhem's a great hostess. She's great on the microphone. Yeah. Bring her over here. So then I would go, just go from club to club and people would just offer me hosting gigs, so that's how I kind of became the Supreme of Southern California. Oh, the Supreme of Southern California. Uh -huh. Does that make me one of your coven? Yes. Yes. They build a house, it's a family. So basically drag queens are like Game of Thrones? Very much so. Who would people recognize that was part of your sisterhood? Morgan McMichaels, mm -hmm. Delta Work, Jules of Long Beach, 
that's a good group right there. My drag, like, I, it really brought out, brought me out of my shell. Mm -hmm. I was a very shy person. I'm still a shy person, but, you know, when you're the focal point of an evening, everyone's looking at you, it forces you to come out of that shell yeah. and say, you know what, okay, I have to be that superstar everyone thinks I am. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So you, it, it, it completely changes everything. You go from being, you know, oh, I'm just gonna try drag and just hang out for a night to, oh no, I am the drag. Ever since we met over four years ago, I've been, you know, dabbling back and forth in drag. And for me, it's, I, I've always been very open about it. It's not a serious profession for me. Yeah. It's something I really respect and I adore the art behind it. I decided to do drag for the streamings last year when we hosted. And, you know, I decided to do drag because, you know, especially in the Try Guys, I really want to represent the queer community. Just visually, you see someone, you know, rocking that, especially in an award show hosting. I was like, look, gays represented, queers represented, LGBT is here in the house. Yeah. I was upset afterwards when I thought, like, why was I not fully the Cheyenne Pepper like mayhem taught me to be. And I think it's because I was treating it like a job. Open bar closes halfway through the show, so don't be afraid to double fist while you still can. Luckily my face rests so bitchingly. Yeah. That they're, like, they're like, oh, it's Cheyenne Pepper. She just looks like she's gonna punch somebody. If you're not having fun, it shows. And if you're not having fun, then the audience is not having fun. You know, I think the first time I really felt some joy out of doing the drag was at my birthday recently. My wig came off, my heel fell off, but I didn't care. And by the end, everyone was like, that was great. You just didn't give no fucks. Yeah. And you were just in the moment having a good time. So mm -hmm. that's why it was a good a good performance. Do you think this needs to be a little pinker on the look? Yeah. Maybe a little too close to the skin tone. We're going real drag tonight. Paint the brows down, big old lips. I want to look like a, a rich Asian, crazy rich woman in the Isle of Shiseido. Oh, bitch. Yeah, you know, adjust her how you like. You look great. I'm fucking pissed. Because <laughs> now I'm like, uh, do I need to bring out my neoprene outfit now? It okay. gets very soft once the nails come on. Then I want to touch everything. Yeah? Yeah. 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 The art of uh, hosting a gig is being a good hostess, just like at any kind of party that you throw. Yeah. You want to be able to engage with people and make them feel welcome, and that's how you build a successful night, is being a social person. Anyone can be at a party and just sit in the corner and mm -hmm. don't do anything, but if you really engage with the people that are there, they're gonna come back and see you again. Yeah. And especially if you look good, you smell good, and you offer them booze, like, <laughs> they're always yeah. gonna have a good time. Just letting y'all know, my sister's gonna let me have this, y'all. <laughs> I don't know her. Ah! This house of mine is filled with a lot of big personalities. <laughs> we have over here on the throne, Miss Boots Dre Simone Miller. Oh, yes. yes. We have over here, tucked away, honey, Miss Jasmine Simone. Ow. Yes. And then our special guest in here, Monique Hart, honey, from RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, the Goopery. Honey. Happy birthday to you. To me. Happy birthday, my mother. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Did you have to do the man voice? At that part, yes. oh, my Happy daughter. It's necessary to kind of work in your local, like, club scene. You know, nowadays we can learn everything from YouTube, but you kind of, yeah. that humbleness, you kind of learn, uh, don't do that in the show again. You know what I mean? Shit like that. <laughs> yeah. you know, if you think you're that girl, you just on YouTube, woo, woo, woo. The, cr the crowd will let you know at yeah. a local gay bar. Amen. Amen. It'll be cricket. Honey. When I say live, everybody give me some energy for this bitch if you breathe it. Live! 
at the end of the day, you got to go to the club and be able to turn a party. You got to be able to socialize with people. Turn you got, the club. Yes, you got to learn and you have to have that mentorship to give you that guidance of where to go, how to do. How to do it. I have a special guest with me tonight that I want to share the stage with. Is that okay with you? Look at this audience. Are they young? Are they older? Do they look like they'd be easily offended? Are they an uptight crowd? You know, you have to be able to read an audience really quickly. Make eye contact. You definitely want to accept every tip that someone offers you. I've never been in a real That's club environment. Part. I've never taken money. Get all the dollars you can. Whenever a bitch gets on this stage, give her some goddamn money! I'm performing here in Tip Me, right? Yes, Mayhem! So, All-Star 5 a, winner! I'm not gonna be a greedy bitch, because mm -hmm. some girls are awful at this. They'll be like, yeah. oh, money! Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they run off. No, that's gross. And everyone's like, what the fuck? So you you make eye contact mm -hmm. and you acknowledge them. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, hi. Oh, is that money for me? Oh, no, I'm not going to grab it now. I'm just going to tease you. And we look away, but then we come back. And then when you grab the dollar, you have to touch their hand. Mm -hmm. Not the money. Get their hand first. Wow. Look really at Really make a connection. Then slide it away. Sometimes they'll hold on to you and you're like, okay, let go. Because mm -hmm. there's more money I gotta go get. A couple years ago, I had the opportunity to pit this individual in drag for the first time. And I'm so proud that this amazing person has continued to enjoy the art of drag and spread it around to the world, to the masses. I thank him so much for the opportunity that he gave me. And I'm so excited for him to hit my stage. Are y'all ready? A lot of people think a perfect drag show has to be full of high energy numbers. Mm. Back to back to back to back. Yeah. To me, that is a boring show yeah. because there's no levels. Mm -hmm. In a drag show, you need to have levels. Something that's high energy as well as having something that is emotional, mm -hmm. having something funny, yeah. having something that's mid-tempo. Yeah. You know, you have to give the audience variety because not everyone there wants to see the same thing. You know, that was really exhilarating because I got to just perform without thinking about it. I just inhabited the song. Nothing was choreographed, nothing was planned. No. I just existed in the music. And I feel like it really showed that I was having an awesome, fun time. Look how many tips I got. Look at all those tips. That is just from my performance. I'm gonna go buy a burrito with these tips with Mayhem because I'm really fucking hungry after working out. The local drag scene is absolutely incredible. I encourage everyone to go out and support all of their queens who are working their asses off in all the bars around their city. The whole nightlife works as a, a unit, you know? Yeah. We all keep the machine going, and these are our safe spaces. This is where we all need to congregate and have a great time. Happy birthday to Come on, mama. Let's this get that good. burrito. Do you want bean, cheese, meat? I want all of it. Con todo. But guac is extra. I got money. And you have a lot of money. I got now. money now, you, too. You got, you got some money, too. Yes. <laughs> hey, we're here to get the pussy sweat and the dicks, and the dicks hard. hard. How do you think I became the queen of the party? A lot of hard dicks and wet pussies. That's it. <laughs> That's it.